Hey, my name is Fakar Sancha and uh, I'm doing my MS from Comsat Islamabad. I talk about uh, uh, Persim, a Python package for analyzing persistent diagram. It currently includes uh, implementations of most of the popular methods of uh, working with persistent diagrams, including like bottleneck distance versus time distance, slide versus time kernel, heat kernel, persistent images, persistent landscapes, and diagram plotting. So first, uh, here are the dependencies like uh, Cython, Ripsers, and Persims. Uh, here you can see that pip install Ripsers and also you can install Cython and Persim. These are the other uh, libraries, uh, NumPy, Persims, and TDSets uh, from where we can get uh, datasets. And uh, here I can run the it. The next thing is importing and plotting of data. The data is uh, of torus, the number of points is 200, these are the other parameters uh, and the noise is uh, 0, 0.0 and in the second one is noise is 0, 0.1. Uh, let me run this command. Okay, here uh, you can see that uh, the first one is in uh, clean data blended by blue quell dots and the second one is noisy data these are the two uh, torus uh, from these uh, we create uh, we generate h1 diagram each of the data set this is uh, our uh, second step and uh, as we know that uh, ripser uh, ripser is a very good software for com computing uh, the persistent barcodes uh, from it or easy rips like uh, from this uh, we calculate the persistent diagrams of our data here we can see that uh, from persim dot plot diagram uh, of diagram clean and diagram noisy we will create a persistent diagram of our given data okay uh, the first main task is uh, compute and visualize the bottleneck distance the command is persim dot bottleneck diagram one diagram two and matching is equal to false so this command performs the bottleneck distance matching between persistent diagrams. So what is matching? Matching is a boolean variable, uh, default is false. And if true returns matching informations and cross to similarity matrix. And after this command, the returning point is your returns uh, D like in floating point. That is the bottleneck distance between the persistent diagram 1 and PD2. For more descriptions, you can see that on uh, person.psychotda.org and here is a command and you can see that. So, uh, this is the green line is the uh, bottleneck distance between the, the orange one and the blue one. And if we clear that how much the distance between these two points, uh, then uh, uh, I will let a is equal to person dot bottleneck diagram print diagram noisy and print a and uh, it will show me the distance between the two point and that is 0 0.1426 up to so on. Okay, uh, this is another thing uh, of uh, matching d person dot bottleneck diagram one diagram two matching is equal to true person dot bottleneck underscore matching diagram one diagram two matching. Uh, D labels clean H1 and clean noise H1 and uh, plot title up to so on and plot show and after this uh, we will see that this is the matching between uh, diagram 1 and diagram 2 okay the next distance uh, is uh, after bottleneck uh, that is the, that is our Stein distance and here we can see that compute and visualize the Stein distance person dot versus Stein diagram 1 diagram 2 matching is equal to false perform the Stein distance matching between persistent diagrams and for more descriptions uh, you can also see on person dot psychotd.org parameters are uh, uh, persistent diagrams and uh, it returns uh, again the distance between the persistent diagrams and matching d uh, if it's true then tuple of matched and this is like uh, n plus one cross n plus one cross similarity matrix and the command uh, for Stein distance is uh, persim dot versus Stein diagram one uh, clean and diagram noisy and matching is equal to true. As here we can see that after running this command, 
there are different matchings between uh, these two precision diagrams uh, here we can see that and if we calculate the distance the sign distance between these two grams uh, precision diagrams then d is equal to percent dot stein diagram clean and diagram noisy and then print d okay uh, here we can see that this is the distance the strain distance between these two precision diagrams uh, the next uh, our task is uh, slide versus stein kernel distance computed okay so uh, the command is percent dot slice underscore versus stein pd1 pd2 and m is equal to 50 so m is uh, uh, is an integer the default value is 50 and it is an iteration to run approximation and it, it returns this command returns uh, in a floating point like the distance between pd1 and pd2 so e is equal to percent dot slide versus time diagram clean and diagram noisy in our data and after printing e then the distance with sign distance is slide versus sign distance is 1.950 and uh, if uh, uh, in a, uh, if we see uh, this these things in a in graph then uh, let uh, ms uh, another variable and uh, it is from uh, the range 5 to 100 and uh, the increment of 2 and ds equal to person dot slide versus time diagram clean diagram noisy and after running this command okay and after this uh, here are the labeling of x label y label and the title of plot shows here we can see that the relationship between iterations and the distance this uh, uh, graph show us the relationship okay the next thing is compute the heat kernel distance uh, the things in which the command person dot heat diagram 1 diagram 2 and sigma is equal to 0 0.4 and this returns the pseudo pseudo metric between two persistent diagrams uh, let's see here sigma np dot line space 0 0.1 up to 50 and the increment of 10 and ds is equal to person dot heat diagram clean diagram C and the sigma is equal to s for s in sigma and print a ds and here we can see that it will print us okay so here are the labeling x label y label and the title and after plot or show it uh, give us a relationship between the sigma and the distance between the persistent diagrams so uh, our next main task uh, in person is the persistent images there are different commands uh, let's see the first is persim dot persistent imager uh, in which the parameters are birth range, persistent range, uh, pixel size, weight, weight parameters and the kernel which we are used and kernel parameter and that transforms which convert persistent diagrams into persistent image. So let's see uh, from an example. So here from persim import persistent imager and the variable is pmgr is equal to persistent imager pixel size and the birth range so printing a persistent imager object will print it hyper parameters uh, print uh, pmgr so here we can see that the parameters are birth range and the persistent range pixel size weight and weight parameter up to so on okay uh, persistent images attributes can be adjusted at or after instantiations and uh, updating attributes of a persistent images object will automatically update uh, all other dependent attributes. Uh, again, uh, another second uh, command is uh, uh, fit persistent diagrams and in square bracket Q, choose persistent image range parameters which minimally uh, enclose all persistent pair across one or more persistent diagrams and here below you can see that the descriptions of the above command the fit method can be called on one or more two and by anti arrays to automatically determine the minimum birth and persistent range needed to capture all persistent pairs again the command uh, for this is uh, pmgr dot fit persistent pdgm is an other variable and skew is equal to true and after running this command and it will show us the result of the uh, fit command the last command uh, in 
persistent image that is the fit transform and that transform the persistent diagram into persistent images so here is the uh, description of uh, this command uh, okay uh, here we can see that png is equal to png or dot transform so persistent diagram and skew is equal to true and print pmgs okay this will give us an array and these are other uh, commands like uh, plot underscore diagrams and plot images and transforms so after using these like this one is a plot underscore diagram is used for plot of persistent diagrams and plot image is used for plot of persistent images and transform is used for to transform the persistent diagrams into persistent images so after using these commands we will see here that uh, from uh, after running these commands uh, this is our original diagram persistent diagrams so we convert it into uh, persistent coordinates and after uh, converting into this uh, we convert this into persistent images so this is all about the persistent images okay our last main technique uh, that is uh, persistent landscape by peter bubnik okay here these are the different uh, uh, dependencies for uh, persistent landscape uh, okay uh, let me import okay after importing these uh, these are the other uh, libraries from persim.landscape and i am importing like uh, pers land landscape approx and average approx snap plot landscape and after these these from dataset imports ds uh, sphere and after importing these one uh, here is the data set data torus torus number of point is uh, 100 and uh, the second one is sphere n is equal to 100 and these are the other parameters okay uh, let me run this one okay as we see uh, as we know that vitori is rips uh, calculating by rips here, so instant rate vitori is rips solver rips is equal to rips max dimension is equal to 2 and uh, after this we will compute the persistent diagram persistent diagrams so the command for this is ribs dot fit transform and the second uh, of uh, data torus and the second one is ribs dot fit transform of data sphere so after uh, compute uh, persistent diagrams uh, let me here um, uh, plotting these persistent diagrams of uh, torus and sphere okay i am not running this one let me Okay, here you can see that uh, the first percent diagram is a percent diagram of uh, torus. So uh, here are the connected components, uh, uh, the one dimensional holes, and the green are the two dimensional holes, and the percent diagrams of the figures, uh, so blue, uh, orange, and green one. So after this, uh, uh, percent diagrams, uh, the main task is uh, the transforms these percent diagrams to percent landscapes. And the command for this is persim dot pers, uh, pers landscape exec that uh, that is for first one is for the torus and the second one is for the sphere and after running this command uh, th that will give us the result of uh, like degree one persistent landscape of torus and the second one is uh, persistent landscape of sphere so uh, these are the basic things and this is all about the persistent landscape thank you so much